Oh, good morning, we're back here with the peacock and uh, this morning I've already just put a little bit of detail into the peonies. I've also added an extra petal. Um, I did this because at some stage, very shortly, I'm going to start to think about a, a background for the peacock and obviously at some stage I want to frame it. So it's just about balancing up the image really and, and how we do that. So looking at it at the moment, I've, I've got my little measuring device here and so far my drawing is there and if I'd left it as it was, it would have had too much of the bottom bits. So I've, I've actually added, I don't know if you can see this, I'll just move my paper up a bit. I've actually added this petal just to give that sort of symmetry. So that was the adjustment this morning. Whether I look at this side, if you have a look at this, it, does, it doesn't have to be banging central but it, it sort of helps sometimes we've got here and obviously it's a little bit over there I don't think that's going to affect it but we might have a think about how we shade that at a later date for the background just to give that better visual effect so really this morning um, like I said I've been adding extra detail to the peony but looking at the feathers I'd like to add uh, something a different tone perhaps of blue to the to the feathers and maybe a little bit of extra dark tone to the leaves so I've got one of these out this is um this is one of my what I call a wash pan that's in the sets and what this is it's it's actually although it doesn't look it it, it is a, a full half pan of colour but it's made with more of the carrier medium uh, so that it's poured into the pans and then that as it dries off, as it's with me and it's, it dries off, it cuts the inside of the pan and it makes it easier when you're out and about to give yourself a, a, a wash pan on the go if you like. And now you activate it, obviously if you, you're on the go you have like a, a water bottle with you and you just drop it in here. I'm just using some of my wash water and I'm, I'm popping it into the pan. So if you like, I'm just activating it. That's, that's all that's happening here. Um, and just let it let it go a little while and just uh, soak up. So the details I'm going to put in today, I've already used the zero. I'm putting these little swirls on and, and the extra bit of the Venetian red. But I'm going to now use the double zero just to do this. So it doesn't take long for this to activate. And it's just ready to wash on and just to test it. There we see. So it's just a slightly different colour. It's still blue, obviously, but it's a different tone. So it complements the feathers. It doesn't distract from it, but it just gives that, that 3D look. I think this this wash is actually going to be in the beach pan. So I've got I've done the beach pan, a garden set, but I've also I'm going to do a beach set as well. So more slate greys, lots of different blues. And as you can see from this, it's it's slightly deeper in tone. This is a, a pigment that I've made from several pigments. It's got um, a little bit of ultramarine in. It's got some lamp black in it, tiny little bit. It's got a little bit of Prussian blue in it. Prussian blue older pigment, ultramarine, more modern, when I say more modern, you know, in the last few hundred years. So as you can see, it's just giving a, a slightly different blue. And it just adds another dimension, really. when you choose your colours to paint your peacock if you buy this from me 
Oh, you could have petrol green peacock feathers if you wanted. You could do a more contemporary version with all sorts of different colours. Red feathers, I don't know. Would it be a phoenix then? Not sure. Anyway, I'm going to continue with this. I just wanted to show you how to use these these wash pots. It's it's great. After you've finished, all you do is you just let the water evaporate from it again, and then you just return it to your your set. If you're out and about, if you're you, you're painting in the fresh air and you want to activate your wash pan, and you're not going to use all this. I mean, in all fairness, if you're doing a background wash, this would this would go. But if you just wanted to do what I'm doing now then don't add as much water. You know, try and activate as much as you need for your painting session. But if you do activate it all, it's not a problem. You just leave it to one side. The water will evaporate and there your paint will be again. They last such a long time, these, because they are pigment-based paints. You'll be surprised just how durable they are. And, and I've filled it up today, really. Not because I'm probably going to use it all, though I might might do some in the background. But really to show you how it dries again, so you you know you see what happens to it. Just to show you a little bit of this detail work I'm doing. And it's just building up all these different colours into the peacock, but still keeping it complementary to what we've already got because that's a that's the sort of piece I'm going for like I say you know if you get your peacock and you want to do it bright pink or neon yellow or whatever you can it's your art remember you're doing this for you Right, I'll stop filming now, continue with this, and I'll see you later when I've finished it. And maybe we'll have a look at um, how I'm going to do the, the background. At some stage, I'm thinking about as well, and, and whether I film this or not, I don't know. I might do, because I, I think it's an interesting technique. Uh, obviously, I've got this fine detail up here on the crown of the peacock's head, and I don't particularly want to lose that. Uh, and I'm going to have quite a dark background, I think, because this is it's quite a... Uh, a bright painting if you like and, I, and especially to complement these dark tones I've got in here but I don't want to lose any of this it's a bit of an experiment so I don't know how, how it's going to go in this uh, this background I'm going to do but you can watch with me and you can have a laugh with me if it doesn't go well but anyway I, I need to protect especially this fine detail and, and up around anywhere where there's you know very intricate parts that I need to protect so I'm probably going to varnish this image. I know this sounds odd now, and, and you're all going to go, what, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to put on it some gum arabic. And what that will do, it means that I can sort of splodge along with my washers and not worry about it running into this painting. The other way of doing it is masking it off as well, of course, but I'm masking it off with a fluid, in fact, is what I'm going to be doing. So I might show you more of that later. I don't know if I'm going to do all of it, or some of it, whether that will change it, I don't know. It's um, it's hard. I'm experimenting as I go along, and you're you're along with the journey if you're watching. I'll see you later. <laughs>